Okay, so here what we have is a graph and it is to help me uh, explain what MPPT is, which is Maximum PowerPoint Tracking. And how it works is basically it finds the maximum voltage and the maximum amperage, which gives you the maximum amount of power or watts. As you can see, um, about in this graph, which is crude, um, you get about 70 watts at one point. That's the maximum point. If you're lowering the voltage and let's say drawing too much amps, you're down to 45 watts. Even though you're, you're sourcing more current, you actually reduced your voltage by quite a lot for very little increase in current. So this happens if you also, let's say, uh, reduce current. Let's say you reduce the current down to 5 amps um, and it's to get basically 9 volts. Well that's 45 watts um, compared to the 70 watts that you would get or 72 watts that you would get at 9 volts let's say um, and 8 amps right yeah um, and you know this this helps improve efficiency and get more watts out of your solar panel at times most of the time it will um, but sometimes especially with smaller solar panels um, where you can just directly feed into let's say a battery um, sometimes it's more practical just to directly feed the solar panel into the battery for something like trickle charging or something like that but usually in home applications to where you have solar panels that are doing hundreds of watts it is better to use MPPT um, and what that does is essentially it finds just the highest voltage and the highest current and that gives you the you know, most amount of um, watts, which is which is what you want. It's the most amount of power. Okay. Um, as for um, let's say, you know, let's say you are, um, let's say you're basically to help illustrate this. Let's say you short it out pretty much. You might be doing 10 amps, but you'll be doing pretty much zero volts. So you pretty much essentially have no watts traveling to the system yet you'll have a huge amount of amps and if let's say there's no load let's say there's nothing connected up to it you could have a whole bunch of voltage but there's no watts there's just voltage so you know because there's no amps so you know you have a ton of voltage no amps and that makes very little watts to you know even no watts if you got no amps so you want to do is you want to find this sweet spot basically that gives you your maximum wattage out of your solar panel and what um, MPPT does is it finds that sweet spot and it tries to hold it there and this can actually change from clouds going over to the load itself changing the temperature of the solar panel changing and so on and so on so I hope that was helpful and you gaining understanding of MPPT